My name is Kirk Schreifer and I'm an American living in Canada. I live in a little tiny small town called Niagara-on-the-Lake and I have been writing scripts for a long time and have had a little bit of success here and there and but this is my first uh, full-length feature that I was able to write and direct. When I was uh, sitting around uh, in, the, in this real pub called the Old Angel Inn in my little town of Niagara-on-the-Lake uh, writing this story and uh, about these three estranged friends who survived this tragic event and they don't see each other for four years and now they're back for this funeral of their friend and they have to deal with all the problems and emotions that they're that are between them you know one of them is a romance and and so I would be sitting there you know writing the story in the pub you know drinking Guinness and uh, imagining all the scenes happening there and, and every location in town where I could shoot these scenes to keep it the, the budget low right and so that bar eventually made it into the, into the film with its real name, the Angel Inn. And that became the name of the movie and it's on the poster. And I had a handshake deal with the owner who uh, was uh, friends with me because our friends were, our sons were friends. And that's how that came about. There's been many Hollywood movies shot there. Uh, the Dead Zone with Christopher Walken was there and they built the gazebo, which is on, on the edge of town by the lake there, specifically for that movie. And they left it there in town. And, and the gazebo is in my film as well. There's a nice romantic scene there. And then uh, there was a John Travolta movie that was shot there, Nicolas Cage movie. Like, yeah, several movies over the years have been shot there and using Niagara Lake as a nondescript U.S. town. And they would take the red mailboxes away and put the American mailboxes there and take all the Ontario license plates off, put New York or some other license plate on all the cars that were in the scene. So this, act, this movie, actually, The Angel Inn, is the first time that Niagara Lake is portrayed as itself in the film. In a feature. Well, when I finished the film back in January and just recently, and I was uh, submitting to different film festivals, I read Movie Maker Magazine. This was listed as one of the top 25 film festivals where you get your money's worth. And so I submitted, and I thought, New York City, yeah, that's great. And so that's how that idea came about, along with the, about the other 10 or 12 that I submitted to. And uh, this Manhattan Film Festival was the first uh, yes that I got, and so this is the first film festival that I'm at.